What's well, going on guys, it's your boy Jack, AKA the Balding Reefer, coming at you with today's video, which is treating a sick coin that's got an ulcer with potassium permanganate. So, let's go. Okay, so for those of you that are new to the channel, hello, my name is Jack, I am indeed the Balding Reefer, or should I say bald now. I specialize in tropical, cold water, pond, and marine fish as well. This video is treating uh, one of the subscribers fish, Alzi Boy. Uh, he's got a Doitsu, which he's got a bit of an ulcer on its front right pectoral fin uh, and on its back fin as well. So because of where it is, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a dip with potassium permanganate. So I'm gonna be showing you through the full methodology in regards to how we're gonna mix this up correctly and stuff like that. So let's get straight into it. And if you're returning back, my people, hello. Thank you for the continued support. Please guys, as ever, make sure you're smashing this subscribe button, hitting the like button as well. It massively helps me out as a new creator, pushing my content out there, especially educational videos like this as well, it means the absolute world to me. Now, let's get straight into it. What am I using today? PP, is what I'm gonna call it, potassium permanganate, by the brand Kasuri. Uh, it's a treatment against parasites, uh, protozoa and bacteria. Also helps out with things like skin flukes, gill flukes, uh, trichondia, Full link, uh, full link, uh, full uh, description down below of everything that this bad boy uh, treats. Now, the fish currently is in my Japanese show pond that, um, that I'm in the process of building at the moment. Those of you that have been following me along for a while now will be know that I'm babysitting these fish for Alzi Boy whilst he finishes his pond off. He has sent me through an update today as well, by the way, which I will stick in this video that you can actually see um, how far he's actually got, which is really, really impressive. There we go then, Jack. There we go. Oh, Danny, now all finished. So I just got to do the underlay. That's the next stage of it all now. There you go. I'll graft over there, help me. So there we go. All the brackets on there, secure it. Oh, bit of hard work it was. But let me spin you around and show you the sick fish. So here she is, just down here at the moment. You can see there the ulcer on the back of her tail. You can see the one on the front of her fin as well, uh, or should I say his fin. Not really moving around too much or anything like that. So I want to give him a little bit of a uh, potassium dip. Now, for a potassium permanganate dip, what you want is... Um, one gram of potassium permanganate which is this stuff here per 50 liters of water so what i've got here is i've got a load of warm water in here which is roughly uh, about 25 degrees and it's up to the 20 liter mark which is just here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put half warm water in then i'm going to get another 25 liters out the show pond and put that in there as well what we then need to do is mix this in put an air stone in there and let it aerate itself through for a good 20 minutes. But let's get that in and then we'll get the koi and I'll show you the exact methodology on how we're gonna be dipping it. Now with this koi being a doitsu, uh, that basically means it has little to no scales other than, other than down the lateral um, top of its body and also down the sides as well. We have to be very, very careful. Uh, dipping a koi in potassium permanganate, um, you don't wanna dip them for any more than seven minutes um for a doitsu you want to do it a lot less than that so we're actually going to be running a timer on here for four minutes this will be the first stage treatment then what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll re-dip uh, in two or three days time but it's all going to be done on this one long video segment anyway so you guys will be able to see the fish in its current state and then by the end of this video you'll see it fully cured uh, and back to full health and full parameters swimming around with the rest of them as normal but let's get this in here it's very difficult to do one-handed, <laughs> so let me tip this water in here and then I'll show you adding the potassium in. Okay, so that is the first uh, 25 litres there into the tub. Now what we're going to do is just get our potassium permanganate and just literally sprinkle it all around the top. It will go this luscious, vivid purple colour. Now what we need to do is grab ourselves a little stirrer, which will come over to the burn pile, just over here. Because what we want to do is make sure we give this a right good stir. Now, if this gets on your hands or on your clothing, it's basically going to do what's called oxidising straight away. 
So any good bacteria, bad bacteria that you've got on your hands or anything like that, it's gonna turn it a, a vivid kind of brown color. Nothing to worry about if you get it on your skin. It'll naturally come away within sort of 48 hours. But basically what's gonna to happen to the koi when we put the koi in here is any forms of bad bacteria that it's got on it, it will um, turn those a brown. So obviously we know the treatment's working. And on this kind of stuff, you wanna make sure you set your timers exactly, guys. Like I say, on this dirt so I'm gonna be running it for three, uh, on the first dip, sorry, I'm gonna run it for three and a half minutes uh, with it being a scaleless kind of fish. But now what we wanna do is grab one of the air stones that's in the pond. So we'll grab this one here, cause it's on a longer lead. Now we just wanna chuck that in there. Just let that aerate the water through now for 15 or 20 minutes. The other green tub here is gonna be used to put some pond water in. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip and hold the koi in here for like I say, three and a half minutes. Then we're gonna take her out. We're gonna dip her in the clean water and then we're gonna put her straight back into the pond. Potassium permanganate is a treatment that you cannot use with salt. So if you are salting your ponds or anything like that, don't just directly add the potassium permanganate straight into your koi pond. Now the potassium will strip the slime coat off your koi. So when they are in the, uh, in the tub, if they start acting like they, they wanna get out, like they wanna jump, etc., if they start rolling onto the sides, take them out straight away, dip them in the clean water, and get them back into the pond in your net, ideally above like an air stone or something like that. Uh, but like I say, the majority of fish will be fine. If you have to bail on the treatment halfway through, do not fear. It's better to give it a little bit of something than absolutely nothing and let these ulcers just sort of take over on their bodies. Now, ulcers can be cured uh, by themselves, but we've left this now, obviously over winter, and we're starting to come through now. It, it is slowly but surely getting worse. So I do just want to give him a, uh, like I say, that potassium dip just so we can, we can make sure he gets back to full health. So where his tail's white there, that's gonna go brown. His front fins, where's he gone down there? Where they've got an ulcer on the end of them as well. That there will also go brown as well, but nothing to worry about. But let me snap back to you in a second uh, when I've got him in a net and it's been 20 minutes of that potassium there aerating. And I'll show you the exact dip method. Okay, so here he is in all of his glory. Obviously you can see He's got like a fungal infection on the back there and on the front of his fin. So like I say, I just want to give him a potassium dip just to give him that little bit of medicine to make him back better. We've got the potassium permanganate in there now it's been mixing away. We've got the fresh water in there as well. And like I say, what we'll do is we'll keep him in the net. But I'm, I'm imminently going to set my timer. And what I'll do in a second is I'll snap back to you once my timer's kicked back in when he's inside of the, uh, the potassium. Okay, so here he is now, inside of the uh, the potassium dip. Obviously, a little bit of moving round like that is absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about. If he starts rolling over onto his side or anything like that, then obviously that's when we we need to start worrying. But like I say, even if we have to abort this trip on the first one, we can always go again. A little bit of a treatment is better than no treatment at all. And like I say, this is the first stage out of two or three so if he violently starts flashing or anything like that or trying to jump or even rolling onto his side then we'll take him out straight away but potassium gets a bad name in the in the koi hobby because people don't stick to the exact measurements on the koi or anything like that um sorry people don't stick to the exact measurements uh, on the potassium for the volume of water that they're putting in i mean it's relatively simple it's one gram per 10 liters of water And that's, and that's pretty much it, really. you just got to keep an eye on your fish, make sure it's doing okay. Obviously, I can see the back end of its tail there already now. He's starting to go brown, which is good. Obviously, he's still moving round. Occasionally, I'm just lifting the net up a little bit just to make sure he's not rolling or anything like that. Like I say, he's absolutely bang on for the size of this bucket. But anywhere that he's got any forms of bacteria on him or anything like that, it is going to oxidise, it is going to go that brown kind of colour. But I mean, so far he's doing well. Obviously, I always, I always advise to make sure you've got the air stone in there just to aerate this potassium 
whilst he's in the bucket just doing his things. Obviously the potassium is going to get right on into his mouth. It's going to get right on up into his gills and stuff like that as well. Yeah, he's doing okay. Excuse the motorbike. Yeah, it's going to be, the potassium is going to be getting right on into his gills. It's going to be getting into his mouth. All around his fins and stuff like that, all down his skin, making sure that anything that's sort of a bad a bad bacteria is going to be colonising, oxidising, go in that brownie kind of colour. But as you can see there now, he's pretty chill, just doing his thing, relaxing away. Obviously, it's going to be helping him, it's going to be soothing him. I mean, he's been in here now for 2 minutes 25 seconds. Obviously, we're going to three and a half on here. Obviously, he's still doing okay, but he is the Deutsu, so... Like I say, we don't want to leave him in here for too long or anything like that. A normal fish, a Sankey, a Showa, a Tancho or anything like that, we'd leave in here for anything up to seven minutes. I always go a little bit less when doing a PP dip, so even on a normal fish, I'll, I'll leave it five and a half to six minutes. But coming up to the three minute mark now, already I can see a massive difference in the back end of his tail. Still, still doing well. He's a tough old cookie, this one. Maybe you guys can see that there on the end of his tail when he flicks it back up. See, it's starting to go brown already. That is exactly what we're looking for. So, there's his three and a half minutes. Take him straight out, straight into this water here. Obviously, give himself a good little bit of a rinse off in there. And we'll hold him in his net in here for five minutes or so. Hopefully I'll get a good shot of his tail there for you guys. You can see how it's gone brown like that now as well. Obviously the front of his fins have gone brown as well. Already he's looking a lot more lively and a lot more active. So we'll just put him back underneath here as close as we can get it where all that oxygen is going in. I'd just like to leave him resting there for a good three, four minutes just to plummet the oxygen back into them but I mean this here will go brown within the next four hours anyway um, and then to neutralize it completely put some hydrogen peroxide in there uh, and that'll go crystal clear again and then I can tip it away it's not harmful to uh, going down your drains or anything like that once it's been neutralized you guys will be absolutely fine but I mean already he, he seems absolutely full of beans and just wants to get back into his mates and this is like I say this is this is dip one it's currently Saturday evening so I will be giving him another dip come Monday evening and that's going to be on this video as well so make sure you guys are subscribed and following along and sticking through to the end of the video because I want to be able to show you this guy in all of his glory when his wounds are healed. But yeah, so far we stage one, I'm happy. Let me snap back to you on Monday night when I'm going to be giving him his second dip. But sorry, just before I do that by the way, if come Monday he's looking an awful lot better and it doesn't look like he needs another dip, I won't just dip for the sake of dipping him. I'll only dip a koi that needs to be dipped. So yeah, let me snap back to you guys on Monday and I'll let you know whether we're doing a second dip or not. Okay, so we're now past Monday. Um, the Deutsu koi actually didn't need a second dip, uh, which you guys will be pleased to know about. Uh, it was only a slight infection um, that he had, so the one dip was more than enough for him. He's cleared up now and he's back in Alzi Boy's pond, which is super, super cool. Um, so yeah, if you guys have got any questions at all about dipping koi or anything like that, or you want some best practices or some best advice, just hit me up in the comment section down below or literally slide into my DMs on social media. Facebook and Twitter's at the Balding Reefer. Instagram's slightly different, popping up just down there now. That's at the dot balding dot reefer. Um, I've got a lot of um, medication videos coming out over the next couple of weeks. If you're not already subscribed, uh, please swipe up and hit the subscribe button for me. I've got a microscope that's due to be delivered before uh, the bank holiday weekend. So I'm hoping to actually do some cool scrapes on there. And this microscope is a full digital one as well. So we can actually even do a, uh, a bit of a live scrape as well. Let me know if that's something that you guys want to see. Um, but yeah, nothing to it really. Literally as simple as that. Uh, that's one of the easiest sort of cures for um, ulcers on the mouth, um, tail ulcers as well, and also a little bit of fin rot as well. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Appreciate the love, appreciate the support. We've recently got over a thousand subscribers, which means the absolute world to me. So thank you very much. 
Keep liking the videos, keep sharing the videos, and keep pushing out to a wider audience. Do not forget as well that we've also got um, the Balding Reefer discount, which is Party 15 for 15% off. That runs from the 30th of March until the 1st of April at midnight. Uh, and then we've also got Pond 10, which is a 10% discount um, running until the end of April as well. So if you want to grab some merch like this, head over to www.baldingreefer.com and it's all available on there. But as ever, I'm going to draw it to a close there. Thank you very much for watching. It means the world to me. Uh, stay safe. Stay sane. Most importantly, people stay happy. Balding Reefer, out.